Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Harmontown at the lovely Dynasty Theater. My name is Brandon Johnson. I'm sitting in for the lovely and beautiful Jeff Davis. Please make some noise for him. He's having throat surgery. We miss him. Watch me fuck his job up. <laughs> Let me welcome to the stage Spencer Crittenden. Dungeon master, game master extraordinaire. Ladies and gentlemen, it's air conditioned in here. It's so much hotter wherever you are. But it's super hot because tonight we've got Dan Harmon, the mayor of Harmontown. Yeah. Let him hear you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you, Brandon Johnson, guest comptroller. Yo, oh, yo, 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 rapping on the beat, literally on the beat, I'm rapping on the beat, my literariness can't be beat, I'm rapping on the beat. And my name is MC Street, and I rap with some beats, a plate of them. They're called beats. Rapping on the beat, rapping from the street, can't be beat. These beats per minute can't be beat. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I chose to. All right, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you. I actually, it is kind of going to be a, a more of a musical night if, if, we, if we, I mean, we, 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 Jesus Christ, is it, is this mic? We keep Steve this? Levy, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Levy. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, so star packed tonight. It probably will be a, a little bit of a musical night because I, my, uh, I've been working out on Instagram Live, as you all know. And uh, and I, uh, I I play a workout mix while I work out, and I work out to the beat. Uh, and uh, I the Instagram started doing this Instagram uh, TV thing because of what you were doing, probably. Yeah. But also, so I think that kicked in like a new higher wave of copyright detection or something. So my workouts when I work out alone. And the trainer's not there, like talking over stuff. And, and the I, I find I I've, I've done enough experimenting, I think, to realize that it's like right around the Foo Fighters, like some AI thing gets triggered, where, <laughs> like, like like and it shuts off and it like suspends my Instagram feed. So I thought, you know, well, I mean, is it because dudes will bootleg music based off your workout? Because that's what people do. I don't know. I, you know, I, I have no Some idea. Bullshit. I imagine it's just like it, what, what, what's fair, you know, fair, fair, what fair in love and war and copyright infringement. It's like the technology started allowing us to steal music really quickly, and there was nothing anybody could do about it. You know, right. Met Metallica wanted MP3s to be illegal, and we laughed at him, and um, <laughs> we we call him Metallica. Uh, <laughs> and it was like, oh, old man, don't you get it? But it's 20, 30 years later, and uh, now it's actually kind of like the pendulum swinging back. Where it's like, shit, I can't play Foo Fighters in the background at my party because the robots are like better able to recognize music. That Shazam technology represents computers are able to pick up on a Cyndi Lauper song in the background <laughs> of a bar. And, uh, and I think that's what's happening is that they just... It, it must be certain bands, because like, I always start with the Rocky theme, and I, I guess nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's per song or, like, uh, It's, like, a, it's the type of music. It's Because you can steal, it's the type of music, because you can steal hip-hop all day long. Yeah, yeah. It's weird that Foo Fighters is, uh, but, or it's not weird, I guess. They're probably the, the most, out of everything in my playlist, I guess they're probably the most, like, uh... I don't know what the adjective would be. Like, I'm sure you could trace it to like the label or something. Like, yeah. this label is really litigious or enforces it or something. Well, anyways, like I look, I'm not gonna get mad and go fuck you, old man. I I'm entitled to steal your music. I, like, if I'm broadcasting on an Instagram, then that's it. So I, I I took the beats per minute of each of the workout songs, um, and I I'm starting. I'm gonna use GarageBand to make soundalikes. <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, <laughs> of, the, <laughs> of the song. And so you awesome. really, so you are really, really ripping off somebody's music, basically. I can't wait. Yeah, but not to in a way that I think version. they would agree was costing them money. <laughs> unless, unless I was like, I really gave them full credit and was like, "This is the Foo Fighters. The Foo Fighters inspired this song." And I just like broadcast that and kill it. <laughs> and then their lawyer calls and goes like, please just use the song. Use the regular song. No, I love the Foo Fighters. I want to help. I'm Justin Roiland. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is Rob Schraub's impression of Justin Roiland. It's the only one that I do. It's the only impression of Justin Roiland I have. It's Rob Schraubs. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. Let's see. So uh, according to Levy, if I, oh. if I just uh, hit this and then that and then air server. Okay, yeah. Oh, d am I not supposed to say that out loud? Now everyone can. Uh-oh. Now everyone can probably. Well, you definitely should have said that out loud. <laughs> it, just, really, it makes sense. That, it's good. But, oh, uh, look at this new technology. But y'all well, yeah. can't but y'all can't bail me out of jail. But Okay. But don't play the video cuz I I'm nervous cuz I don't I didn't like scrub my iPad for porn. If you cannot play the video from my thing. If but it, I usually start with uh, uh X going to give it to you. Or I start I start with the Rocky thing, which again, I think is like it's it's just how I start and it, it's not getting shut off. So, but then so this is this is uh I mean, I I I, I just got the beats per minute, you know, and uh, let's see, are you, uh, is it playing? No. They should be able to hear it, yeah. Now, is this your version of X gonna give it to you? Yeah. Oh, I can't fucking like, believe I, I just the, said gonna. I did the right beats per minute. X gonna give it to you. Oh, wait. <laughs> is it, uh, so you guys aren't able to airplay it? I could just do it on the speakers on the device. Yeah, that might and work. It's probably gonna work mostly. <laughs> That, well, that, yeah, that, that's maybe, the X. see, that's the thing is if I can, if we can get the runtime for X gonna give it to you. Oh, uh, let me look Sorry, it up. I know it's a, it's, it's no, below your pay grade. This is a great. Uh, if you get the runtime, then we can, we can tonight, we can record in time for my workout tomorrow. Well, let's do it. That sounds like a good angle. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's they're like, oh, great. Like, well, they're already here. I really came for the right show. So, uh, so surprised that no one in the audience just yelled it out. No, no. Well, I like that. I mean, it's, it would have been useful now, but on the whole, it would have been terrible if they did that. Oh, shit. Yeah. You're thinking, it doesn't sound like I can give it to you. Well, it's just like, it's not supposed to sound that much like it. You know. It doesn't want to be and, and, you're, and you're like, where are those horns, right? I got 336. Well, I have like the synth horns. Is it supposed to not sound like it? Because it's amazing at that. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. This rap shit is hard. <laughs> Yo, X giving it to you. He's giving about to. Uh, pretty sure he's taking it, it back. To you. Yo, I'm a dog in heat. Yo, everybody on the street wants some money from me. But you can't have it. I worked hard for it. What you gonna say when someone works this hard for money? No. Give you some? No. I, you don't get any. I get it all. You wanna talk to somebody? Talk to my tears. Okay, well, we can do the rest with our guest. He uh, is... DMX is going to fuck us up for that. No. Nah. Yeah, he's going to find us. You don't think it us. sounds that much like he it. He is going to fuck us up. <laughs> I tried to make it sound different. I couldn't tell the difference between you and him. <laughs> you incredible. know what's really funny? My, my dog, uh, Harvey, like, who... He, he barks at cartoon dogs on the TV and Danny DeVito and... Uh, <laughs> I swear to God, and I don't, like like and uh, the uh, now it's like when I play the X gonna give it to you. It starts like there's a beat, and he goes yeah. like ruff ruff, like right. he and the Harvey goes like ruff ruff. <laughs> <laughs> like DMX would be so stoked about that, right? 
he'd be like, I fooled a dog? Like, he's into dogs. And like, he want, it, that would be like if you told Batman that a bat like, tried to fuck his bat suit. Like, if, if Batman came home and Alfred was like, spot of bother, sir, while you were gone, I'm just cleaning the guano off the shoulder pads of your Mark II battle armor. Why is that, Alfred? Why? Sir, you don't have to speak to me in that affected gravel. Uh, 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 why, why, Alfred, what's going on? Oh, that's the real uh, voice. It appears a male bat mistook your suit for a female bat. Uh, well, I don't see gender, so that's awesome. Uh, our, our, he'd, be, he'd be stoked, because he's like, yeah. Alfred, don't you see what this means? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, the uh, ancient Greek uh, scientist uh, and uh, artist Daedalus, uh, he, one of his uh, 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 highest accomplishments that he would brag about the most is that he once made a statue of Hercules so realistic that Hercules threw a rock at it. <laughs> <laughs> because that is what you do if you saw you. It's, a, it's, it's like such a perfect carryover to like celebrity and cinematic culture. Like, like that's, Daedalus is the screenwriter and he's like, you did, yeah, you know what? I made Sylvester Stallone have a fucking heart attack. It's my story. <laughs> Uh, like, like, like just, just, just having nothing but contempt for these like uh, 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 people that look better than you. <laughs> I came out here to puppet them. Uh, you, uh, you made a little video over the weekend. I did. Did you? Or was that lo was that further back? Uh, I don't know, could that be. video. Oh, you mean the thing in the with Shrab? Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a beauty. It was a blast. Did you guys get to see that? I don't you really own <laughs> Next subject. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't want to punish you for experimentation. Yeah, you know the two. You're, you're like, maybe, <laughs> that would, maybe, that'll be, maybe that'll be great. I saw like 20 likes. I figured some of those people. <laughs> um, let's bring out our, uh, our, our friend, our old friend, our, our young but old friend, uh, Mr. Andy Kindler. Andy Kindler! You can sit any, any, you, oh, any uh, of these chairs. You can have any of those. I take too much. I don't want to make a meal out of this. Face <laughs> <laughs> recognition of someone I don't know. That's a classic. <laughs> this is scary. What are you, Mike Douglas? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean with the uh, tall stools? Um, that, or what am I trying to say? Mike Doug? What is this, the Mike Douglas show? Right, John Lennon? You got it. My favorite line of all time, like you in the midst of a of a of a what am I spiral, and you're like, what am I the what am I guy? <laughs> who am I the where? Who am I the guy who says what am I? What am I? What am I? What am I this guy? This guy knows what I'm talking about. That lady, she doesn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the Presbyterian in the back is wishing he was in the front, and the Catholic guy is starting up the scooter. This is kind of Rickles like. <laughs> <laughs> How do you drink a hello? How do you drink this? Uh, out of the, the way you were No, doing but it. where is, I mean, you, it's like, even when I do stand-up, they have like a nice stool. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you know what? We do need little tables, don't we? Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't care. People, yes, babies are getting ripped from their mothers. I don't have a place to put my goddamn drink. I'm not saying one's worse. I like when cable news we're says. We're just talking about things we hate. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, isn't it really the Democrats that made it uh, impossible for you to put your drink down? Or wasn't this show just carrying through the uh, rules? I won't say, I always say Democrat Party, because uh, Frank Luntz uh, said it was a good tactic. You know, they used to do that all the time? No. They, they're like, they're so evil, and their program's so evil, that they just accept these things. Like, they won't say... Uh, the Democratic Party. They only will say the Democrat Party oh, because what? Democratic Party would make it sound as if they're Democratic. I see. But Democrat Party, it doesn't even work really no, as but they're uh, trying. propaganda, they it but it works to signal that you are a, like a horrible human being. It's, pre it's preemptive <laughs> propaganda. It's, like they're, yeah. it's not like they believed that the, the, the calling it Democratic was actually gaining any ground, but they're just like, Spraying a little ant poison like in that area, like <laughs> well, just to keep a line from. But pouring. Frank Luntz did though. He thought it was. Uh, I I'm I'm a little raspy tonight. I'm not. It's I'm not doing. Uh, I I'm, I I work as a Rod Stewart impersonator mm -hmm. normally. 
Tonight's the night. I can't do the whole thing. Everything's all right. Did you see that he finally broke his silence on the whole urban legend? Because when you hear the words Rod Stewart, what's the first thing you think of if you're over? I know. I, I don't listen to... I wish I could get the eight rumors I know out of my head. <laughs> I mean, I know they're true things. It's like somehow... No, well, they're not. I mean, it does... Uh, Rod Stewart... Oh, not that you, one. Not that yeah, one. Like, like, <laughs> not that one, but there's a couple of them... Like what, like a Chuck Berry. I don't even want to get yeah, into who it. Knows. There's things I've heard that I wish I could unhear. But they said that Rod Stewart. Oh, I'm the bad guy <laughs> because some people are into fetishes, and I'm not saying he was. No, he he didn't. He, he did. Didn't. He did. He did have to go to the hospital. No, he didn't. He did. No, no Rod that's... Stewart. That he had sounds. To go to the hospital. Yeah. I also... He had to have his. Well, he yeah. did have to have. He his was really sick. He had to go to the hospital at one time. Yes. He had. Yeah, but they had he, various operations. I did when yeah. I had my appendix out. So that does, nobody started a story about gerbils based on that. And when I say gerbils, I really mean gerbils. <laughs> Think about it. There Think was about this it. Urban legend Trump's that Rod Stewart Stewart camp. went into a bar one night and he hung out with like the Navy and then he had to and then the next night at his concert he fainted on stage and they rushed him to the hospital and they pumped uh, and then the, the numbers get really specific about the number of quarts or ounces of semen or urine that they pumped out of his stomach. It's like, he collapsed from being too full of semen. Uh, Everyone he, knows and, this. And, and it was like this really enduring rumor because there was no internet was at one true. time. So you got all your news through your through your babysitter while they were washing their Camaro. Like that was the <laughs> only way you got any information about the world. And that was the internet, and it was like, doo, doo, and then Rod Stewart's song would come on, and go, take a, oh, a, oh, take a chance, baby. Um, what song is that? I don't want to infringe on anything. I, I made up Come on down, down, and take a chance. I want to go down, like, uh, down, baby, and take a Rod Stewart sounded song on you. You sound like Bob Seger. You're doing uh, a Bob, Bob Seger. Bob Seger, shake down, take down. Everybody wants a weather walk of life. Shake down, take down, hook oh. up, you busted. <laughs> well, well. Shake down, street. <laughs> I just like the idea that uh, uh, two to three quarts of semen is a medical emergency. Wait a second. Right. It is. It's enough to co make you collapse. It's not just like it's not just like you don't want to lay down. Like you f you need to go to the hospital. Yeah. That's right. That's In the how middle of a concert. Wake up, Maggie. I'm no. Oh. oh no. Oh. oh no. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well. Sorry, blokes. From all the quarts of semen, I semen that I supposedly I have lay down. consumed. How do you even consume semen? I've tried. <laughs> so he eventually. You can't get it on a fork. He kind of. He kind of. That was me doing a, a, a gay homophobic kind of joke. <laughs> like, oh, hey, I'm gay. That was a shock. <laughs> <laughs> He let the rumor float for a long time. Did he? So, well, because he, he wouldn't dignify it. Like, he he was like, yeah, exactly. He didn't want to dignify it. He, he was classy, Rod Stewart, about it. And then, like, I think maybe because the guy that started that rumor died, I think. Oh, so we know of Stewart, too much semen. He finally, yeah. <laughs> he finally addressed it in an interview. He said, look, the guy that started that rumor was my publicist. Wow. Like, and he got, it was his publicist? He got pissed off at me because I fired him because wow. for, for, like, really pervy, creepy reasons. Like, he had, like sex with a, a groupie in the, a room that Rod Stewart's underage daughter was sleeping in, in a, in a, in a hotel room. Like, uh, mm. and, and he found out about it and fired the guy. He's like, you don't do that in the room where my daughter's sleeping. And the guy, and the, Rod Stewart was like really cool about it going like, yeah, and then he, that was his way of getting back at me. And you got to admit, he was good at his job. Like, like, <laughs> it's like quite a PR guy. Like, I'm famous for hey, drinking real. two quarts of semen. I, I, <laughs> I got I got eight platinum albums. <laughs> like the one thing I did that <laughs> everyone knows is I drank two quarts of semen. He's a fucking genius. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you know that uh, I would. Here's the thing. I'm not. Uh, I would never commit suicide. But if <laughs> if real people really thought of me every time they thought of me, that's the guy who drank the semen. I would I would put a bullet in my head. I know. I can't believe any of these people that's a guy live that's after these rumors. It's amazing that somebody's that, that that's inspiring that he would be that confident enough to just be like, Oh well, what do you do in love? I'm reading the paper, Governor. Oh, uh, oh, baby, don't be a, a piffler. Uh, uh, puss, puss wind me some Wayne's cotton. Give me a taste. Well, let me wet my beak of the news, love. Um, oh, well, uh, you know, I don't know if you want to hear all the news today, cheeky Robbie baby. Um, 
Are you, oh, doing, are on, you doing British people? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. a British. It's a British couple in their flat, get, which yeah. a flat could be anything. It's it like, must be like a, like like pudding and flat mean yeah. eight it's times a more than thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> give us give us some news then. Love, be a bird. Um, Jesus. Oh well, if be you a insist, bird. yeah. It says you drank two quarts of semen last night. I changed her into uh uh uh. uh she's just she's, I don't know. Two she liters. turned into Harley Quinn. Uh, it says yeah. <laughs> It says you drank two quarts of semen, Mr. S. Um, she was Edith, Edith from Edith, all in the Jesus. family. Stop <laughs> by. And then Rod Stewart's response was, huh. How many, is that just in the post? Or is that, no, it's the Montana Gazette. It's yeah. everywhere. It seems you're famous for one thing. Drinking two quarts of semen. Well, I would I'm like, going to go uh, golf. I, 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 I would like to update that uh, about the suicide thing. I wouldn't commit suicide if, if maybe I was Rod Stewart and had that kind of self-esteem. You but, know what I mean? Uh, like yeah, the, but don't we draw from this? If we want to become Rod Stewart, we got to we gotta imagine we're, ourselves as people so strong that you could say we drank two quarts of semen and we wouldn't even fucking blink. We would just be like, <laughs> when's my next tour? Give me, get me out there again. I wanna, I wanna, yeah. I'll, I'll, sh I'll drink three quarts. I, I don't think... You're not going to see that turn up at any... Triathlons anytime soon yeah. as part of a, I don't know, is it doing a joke? Swim a river, then you drink semen, and then you uh, run. Yeah. I'm not blue. The subject was blue. Yeah, the subject is a dirty subject. It's, it's a filthy subject. Andy's yeah. happy to work clean. I work a T and TV clean. Yeah. Plus, I mean, nobody's working. We don't know. I mean, don't. what do you think made him finally? Because the guy died, and where did you see it? I, it was in a, it was in an interview. It was just like a like a like I, I want to say a Vanity Fair or a Rolling okay, Stone. Don't. I don't know. Sorry. I hope it wasn't a reels, like a reels. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Doc, have you seen a reel? I watch nothing but uh, true crime. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm not I'm not committing tr true crimes. I have OCD, but, so I think I might. So I, I have, did I commit? Do you know that I lived? I lived in Citrus Heights. I didn't live in Citrus Heights. I worked as a comedian in Citrus Heights at the same time period with the Golden State Killer. You oh, know, yeah. right? Did I help? Did I help him? And I don't remember. <laughs> did I? You know how when you're young, something sounds like a good idea, right? Right. But then you get there. You're not sure if you, yeah. But or worst, did I get amnesia like a '70s TV show, and I don't remember? You know what's something they say? On, I watch a lot of true crime too. The, 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 you know it's something I, I, I was thinking about this today I, I, like here's a here's a myth I would like to like I, well, maybe it's not a myth but it's just like when something is so accepted as true like sometimes you just want to be the person to disrupt it question yeah. it a little bit like I, this thing that is just like there's no matter what kind of parent you are if you're if your child dies like the one thing that every parent knows to do like there are some parents who will go to the airport and shoot the guy that that, that, that killed their kid. Why and, the and airport? Be like, and be like, I don't fucking care. You do Wait. it. You do it. Why, why the airport? Why though? the airport? That was I was thinking, too. Because he's being flown back in because of extradition laws. Because he uh, killed yeah. your kid and, and went to Brazil. Not trying oh, to get you away. You can't just Not wait for the courtroom. Well, why I'm, do you have to go all the way to LAX when you could just go to the courtroom? Then there's, then there's parents who will like go to death row and visit the killer and like petition to have the killer not on death row because they'll be like, look, I'm a Christian. That's a courtroom. I, I, no, <laughs> you have to I, petition in a courtroom. That there's, is a good aspect no, of No, there's also some Christianity. people who will go and visit with the killer of their loved one in prison. Like, like, they while don't say there, it like that. They don't say I'm going to see the killer of my loved one. I th you they, make it sound like it's a romance right. novel. <laughs> I didn't, All these I didn't fucked think I was up mincing sentence? any words. You weren't mincing Here's words. Here's my point. Yes. You were chopping and dicing There's a lot of different him. ways to deal with your kid getting killed. Okay. Right. Here's the one thing that everyone agrees on. The what pill? What? You say ginseng? <laughs> the ginseng what's, pill? Yeah, what's the pill? Here's the, oh, right. here's the one thing that I'm everyone agrees on. They all say when they're at the, they go, you know, the one thing you're not supposed to do is bury your kid. Everyone agrees on that. Okay, so can we just hack that a little bit? Like, and just be like, I mean, you don't want your kid to die, but if your kid does die, 
in a, in, a, in a strictly Darwinian sense, aren't you killing it? Like, like, aren't you like, 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 should, like, could one person just like be at the funeral and be like, hey, check it out, burying my kid over here. <laughs> I'm fucking winning. Like I, I, I thought, like I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm so good at life. I'm fucking shooting dead things out of me. Like I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fucking god over here. No. Why? No. Why? What is yeah. it? No. Why is the guy excited now? He's because, excited. because he's excited for the one reason no one's ever excited. I'm just saying, like because he's burying his kids. He's burying that his kids. That makes you. It makes you look super guilty. Right. But that makes your generation you you failed because you were supposed to make that person live to like give birth, and so y- you couldn't do that, right? Isn't that like worse? Well, yeah, but what, do you think frogs feel that way? Frogs don't feel that way. Is this what playing Dungeons and Dragons is like? We're yeah. getting close. <laughs> we're kind of skimming the edge. I didn't say it would be a. I didn't say it would be a popular new uh, <laughs> no, 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 craze like that we should all run out and do. <laughs> I'm just kind of saying, like, if you, th- you know, there are people like MIT people that invent like robot bugs and stuff, and they, they go, and you know, what I like to do is I like to notice what everyone's assuming and then disrupt that assumption. Like, you never know. A lot of those things shouldn't be disrupted. I think we found one. Uh, <laughs> not, a, not, a, not catching on the idea of bragging about uh, outliving your children. <laughs> it's an untapped market. Also, also, what is the use? What is the uh, application? Of uh, of saying about unli- uh, outliving your children, how does that help you? I totally forgot what I was saying. I just this has been happening to me. I'm on Prozac. I'm on Adderall during the day. I'm on Prozac at night. But recently, it may have to do with the vapor vape. Pot. Oh yeah, maybe. Oh yeah. But I thought you were gonna say recently. I just I just woke up on a pile of Skittles. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> so does anybody? Re- and now I paid someone fifty bucks. Does anybody remember what I just said? Because uh, I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> to answer the question, like, what would be the application? Um, imagine that you're a 60-year-old woman. <laughs> I'm a, I can imagine it as a man. First of all, that's his, that's his backwards way of telling people how old I am. Look, I know how this guy works. I've seen these guy, guys. He's like, shocks my whole life. <laughs> now, Andy, if you were... Let's say you're a 60 year old woman. What the fuck are you saying to me? I'm a 60 year old man. Now, here's the thing. Not only that, I wish I was 60. Not only that, you're making this like, I know what you're doing here. Five years from now, this is as an older person. I won't be able to handle this. I'll put this down here, I'll, I'll go forward. I don't, yeah, I don't know if I could, I don't know that I could use that table. You couldn't re- remember what I was saying, though, right? No, if you had to pay, it was like, how important could it have been? It could. It was. I've good. been with you every step of the way. I, I, but I, you wouldn't be able to remember it, right? Not tomorrow. I don't. Well, I mean now. I mean, like playback. What do you think? What did I say? God bless. <laughs> God bless. Was it spir- is spirituality based? I, would just, I think it was about uh, was just killing people. I'm saying the, what you wanted he to know, know what would be the practical application of of outliving your kids as like a bragging. Yeah, but about I had it. a joke. I had a joke about it, and now I can't remember the joke. So there can't po- it can't be any possible point I could make with that setup. Well, it's my point. It would have wanna, to be the, It would have to be a joke. Like imagine being a 60 year old woman. I'm saying. Will you stop? Pointing out to the fact that I am indeed the same age range as the character you're talking about, except my cis gender is male. I don't know what I'm saying. And I am a 60 year old man, and I'm down at the uh, other end of the honky tonk. And like, then you get handed a drink, and the bartender says, That's on the gentleman down there. Okay. He wants you to know he's so virile that he outlives his children. <laughs> and, I would say, you know, I'd say, oh, what a jokester. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I, you, yeah, like, you look down and I'm like raising my glass, tipping guy. my cowboy hat. <laughs> and, then we, and then it's good for one line dance, and I get to know you over a shimmy timmy. I, f- I remember the line. K- Andy. Go. I remember the line. Andy. What go. I meant to say was, if you, uh, the fact that you go uh, outliving your kid is the worst thing. So that's not great to do it if, when someone dies. You say to them, hey, <laughs> at least you're not one of those outliving your kid situations, right? right. It's just your wife. 
<laughs> okay, you go. Someone's wife dies, right? Right. So sorry to hear about Esther would be a Jew woman. Right. So yeah. sorry to hear that Esther passed away. But at least you're not. Oh, yeah. At least yeah. you're not outliving your kids, am I right? Yeah, yeah. That's the worst. Look on the bright side. Yeah. Yeah, she, uh, didn't Esther like the true crime shows? And didn't they always say on those shows you should never outlive your kids? Right. So but you know what? She's nailing it. Yeah. No more net. No more nagging, am I right, fellas? Yeah. From Esther? These are two guys bonding. I don't know if it's her, if, is Esther your wife? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why is I one, two, so. three, four this guy's password? Mr. Big Shot. <laughs> Mr., uh, Mr. I have the greatest password in the business. Okay, the second song on my workout playlist is Van Halen's Jump. Oh, no. It's Van Halen. This is Van Halen's Jump, but it's my I Cannot Be Sued. Are there words? No. I, I'm, well, I, I'll provide them if you want. I thought maybe <laughs> could you do Jump-inspired lyrics? Yeah! Catchy, you've avoided catchy the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So far, nothing's been catchy. We, you are gonna get sued. No, oh, you mean, you you're gonna get sued by Van Halen. Yeah, he even mentioned Don't them. Don't you know we gotta go again? You gotta get that show. Oh, no, that's Panama. <laughs> But isn't it? You know what? It's Van Halen's fault that I don't that I can't remember any part of Jump. <laughs> you just go fair use, fair use, fair use. <laughs> well, that was weak. I'm very sorry about it. Yeah, that was pretty. Uh, that that was pretty close, Dan. You might want to change a couple more things about yeah. it. Yeah. You might. might as well jump. That's how I. That's how I hear that advice. Why aren't you jumping so much? I turn everything into a Jewish song. I'm going to make a million dollars one day with my Jewish versions of pop songs. Here's Journeys Any Way You Want It. Oh, oh all right. <laughs> Sounds kind of similar to the last song. <laughs> it, any way you want it, that's the way you get it. the way you want it. More, uh, more monotone. If you want it, no. you're going to get no. it. And the way you're going to receive it <laughs> is the way that you want it. Because that's how I give it. Hey, I heard you wanted something. Hey. Maybe I could be of service. Hey. How badly do you want it? Hey. I'm gonna give it to you, but the way in which I give it to you is of most note. Most, most note. Cause the way I'm gonna give it to you is the way you chose. Chose. Talking about any way you want it, that's, that's the, the way, way you, you get it. it. Any way you want it. Don't get too close now. Any <laughs> way you want it. I think that's the police. <laughs> any way you want it. Okay. 
That's racist, dude. Not all. All right. If you want it delivered, if you want to pick take out, <laughs> if any way you want it, no pickles, onion, no problem. I'm always thinking about something commercial. <laughs> Cash in. Cash in, that's what I've said to you many times. Harmon, Harmon! I'm gonna start calling you Harmon. How, how's, how's it going on? I, I, I left Twitter, how's it going on Twitter? Well, I don't make eye contact anymore, that's my new thing. <laughs> good, good. Ever since I've been on Twitter, I'm afraid I'll see someone from Twitter. Hey, I'm razor blade and apple, Andy. Yeah. I, I, you blocked me seven years ago after I said I was gonna come over and stab you. <laughs> <laughs> why did why did you do that? Why, why did, you, did you, uh, you you knew it was a joke, right? Right. <laughs> People oh no, I didn't know. Stab, stab, stab. The end of the story. That's why it's gonna go one day. That's the way it's gonna go. I've decided that I don't even care, you know, and I'm not gonna shake my cane at anybody. I got what I wanted. I don't care. But uh, um, like, I just I just I I don't I, I scratch my the front lawn of my head with a tiny cane that I'm technically shaking because I'm scratching my head with it. It's a little, it's a splitting the difference between shaking my cane at the youth and, yeah. and just like also just being acquiescent. I'm like shaking a cane to scratch my head. A tiny That's, cane. Uh, or a cocktail uh, umbrella, something like that. Uh, yeah. Like, I, why, why don't, why, what, 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 how is blocking you, uh, me doing something to you? Like, like it, when in real life, that's all you can ever fucking do to somebody that you don't like and still be civil is like stop not talk to them and not right. want to hear their bullshit and walk away. Like how does that not apply to the fucking internet where everyone is hanging out together like like and you and you go and then they go I got blocked. I got blocked by Harrison Ford. He blocked me. For what? What did you say? Oh, blah, I, blah, fucking, blah. I said fucking Chewbacca sucks your dick, and they and he blocked me. You can't block me. Like 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 I it's like like the, the reaction to getting blocked is like is like is like someone stun batoned you. Like 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 Harrison yeah. Ford told, 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 like 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 tased you by he didn't he blocked you. He did exactly what Harrison Ford like was supposed Ford to do. Like Harrison Ford landed a plane in an airport type of thing. Do you figure... Yeah. If he, he has, I'm sorry, I love that voice. <laughs> He's had nine accidents. Is he going to jail? That's all I care about. Is, it, is he going to jail? And is Phil Spector still in jail? That's all I care about. And what's the deal with Robert Blake? Is he out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, <laughs> Vitello's? <laughs> What happened with Robert Blake? Got he he was acquitted, wasn't he? Why was he, he in, acquitted? Or did he, he was acquitted. He's this, in prison. This audience can't even remember the last predict on an uh, interesting thing I said. And now you're gonna ask him this? I think Robert Blake. I got. I, I did you do you watch Vanity Fair Confidential? Okay, so here's the thing. We're we're talking about something now. There were very very. I watch Investigation Discovery as if uh, you should check into me and see what I've got planned. You know what I'm saying? Why is he watching so much? Uh, I, should uh, be, I should be concerned. It's like how could I pour? Yeah, best way to poison random right. people near you? Stuff like that. So Investigation Discovery, most of the shows are very, very good. But then some of the shows are on these other things, like the reels is really like cheesy, or, or people. So how do you... I think the Vanity Fair is pretty good. Vanity Fair Confidential is pretty good. Yeah. Boy, I mean, did, was that long-winded for nothing? Well... <laughs> Just a little sample of my act. Hi, can, 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 can you, like, I, I, don't, I don't get a lot of response from these folks about this, but I, I think people think I'm the weirdo for mounting this campaign. Why, why do we accept, uh, uh, it forensically, the word panties? Like, why, why is it that when women's or especially little girls' panties. underwear are found at crime scenes, we have to call them panties? Well, how is that scientific? Like, like their underwear. Right. Like, like, like you don't. It's just like, why, why do we? Why do you have to switch to that word? Dr. Henry Lee, I love him, but he says panties in that thick, like, forensic accent. And he's like, oh, semen stain on panty, and and. <sighs> And, and it's like, stop saying panties. Stop but it. Does he do singular though? Because you just yeah, he does. It's he's singular. So yeah, creepy. It's like, it's a, he's, 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 As he's, you see, there's blood on her pant. <sighs> I was gonna do a do a joke about how I like to wear the panties, and I realized, don't go, don't do that. Yeah, I mean, it's it shouldn't be a joke. You should be supported for that. 
I went on a CSI audition. <laughs> I went on a CSI audition, one of the most embarrassing. I'm not bragging like, oh, Mr. Uh, one Hour. Uh-huh. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Mr. Uh, I, I don't want to brag, but I've got I got a call back. <laughs> and here's me on an here's me on audition. Hi. I get it. You don't think I can act. I get it. <laughs> He's Let laughing because the part is like... No, it's just, I don't believe I can act when oh. I go on auditions. Well, then why say, I get it, you don't think I can well, act? Well, no, it's, that's after, that's post-audition. Oh, it's like, okay. uh, or I do, hey, come on, I'm saying something funny now. Can't you just accept right. that when we'll start, I'll be funny? Uh, Trust they, me. Yeah, and they're like, well, it's a... It's we, a part. It's, it's a, a CSI thing. show. Yeah. We don't want you to be too funny. We don't want right. you to, like, or, or disrupt just disrupt the genre. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm... This is the most embarrassing story, but it really shouldn't be embarrassing. This was a... Uh, a part where a guy on CSI Miami, maybe something, he likes to collect used women's panties. This is the part I was going out for. <laughs> oh, because I was trying. Yeah, you got to give it a shot, Andy. Can't be uh, live under. Keep your uh, light under a bushel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that expression. Jeff Davis says that a lot. Don't keep, okay, light, don't keep that light under a bushel. <laughs> like, I love that expression. So. I, I hated I hated the the guy who would want to collect women's panties. I hated it. it's not like oh you have to fall in love with the guy to play it. So this is an actual true story. The audition before me, I hear for a different part. I hear as if the guy has broken the wall. He's like bow, and I actually uh, texted my my uh, agent. I said what is, what is that sound? And he says, <laughs> oh, then he goes. That's the sound of someone getting a part, Andy. That's what it is. So, uh, <laughs> so no, he's right. So I go in wait, there. Wait, because the, because the because the character that's, that's in the panties is supposed no, no. to kick in a door. I want your panties. No, that was. <laughs> hey, come on! Don't pretend you don't know that they're looking for seven people that day, Dad. Okay, different characters. Different char. Well, I so was at the end, the beginning of the creepy. So people. you're really, yeah, you're 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 in the finals because like the the you know you're not in like a cattle call for the ped pedophile. Right. You're like you're like the pedophile they're seeing next after they see the cop. After they see the cop, right? Yeah. Okay. And then I go in there and I just like, oh, I really like them panties or whatever. The <laughs> <laughs> He's so fucking lazy. Your guy is so lazy. <laughs> and they look at me. They look at me after it. Like with a disgusted look. <laughs> I, I swear to God, I feel like going, I didn't fucking write this thing. You wrote you wrote the sick you wrote the sick character and you're looking at me. Oh, this guy's a little weird with the <laughs> seems to seems a little too comfortable with his <laughs> liking to collect women's yeah. panties. That's how I'd never get that part, right? Because I would be so afraid to nail it. That's I, what I was. I, 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 I wouldn't relax. I'd, I'd be like, mm, give me some of those panties. And they'd be like, why don't you stop putting so much cinnamon on it? <laughs> like, well, what do you want me to say? Let me see those panties. And they'd be like, oh, 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 you're hired. Oh, oh, you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> And then the next day, fucking Vice headline would be like, too close to the bone? Harmon uh, <laughs> knocks it out of the pedo park with his performance on CSI oh, London. You never want to see that headline. <laughs> you never want to see the you What was the down. line again? Hey, I like those panties and stuff. What was wow. it? <laughs> yeah, I admit I like them panties, but I, I, like didn't, those uh, panties. I didn't kill uh, Schmimple. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is always it's like the inverse red shirt guy in the sex crime episode like there's always the guy they catch first who like lives in a boiler room and has a shoebox full of like socks and, and so the public is like oh, boo! and then the, he always turns out to not be the kill the actual killer the actual killer is like ripped from the headlines he's like a congressman or something he's the, lead. But, uh, he's the mislead the, yeah the red herring like uh, 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 i'm starting to pick that guy. up when i watch a, m a million hours of the i can't watch politics anymore because i hate trump so much so i just watch hours and hours and hours of these case files and that's uh, what i do too what do you think it is what what what, what is it about true crime well i have ocd and i'm please please withhold your sympathy <laughs> yeah usually and, oh, that and gets your a shock. lot of boss no, please. <laughs> you have stuff? So. You, I, ha you, you don't, <laughs> you have everything? I have severe, well, I, 
I can't get anyone to be upset about my OCD. It's like, oh yeah, they think it's like a a, a shtick that Jewish comics do. They don't even know. They're like, yeah, like, uh, it's like junk. when you say, uh, oh, I can't smoke weed, I get paranoid. Like they don't even. They're like, what do you mean? Like you think aliens are after you? You'll find out what paranoia. Everybody's. Oh, no. oh, everybody will you have. Just that. ruin weed for an entire generation. <laughs> Good. <laughs> they're still not gonna listen. I didn't. Uh, I'm just saying. Like it sounds like gibberish. Some of the stuff that you say sure. when you're past forty. Like I can't think of other stuff. Hot diggity. <laughs> hot diggity. You'll hey, learn there are things that are, you got a hot diggity. 23 skidoo? <laughs> yeah. I never Sometimes knew what that I, meant. Uh, and now I looked it up, <laughs> and you know what it means? No. Nope. It's, it's exactly why my parents left, my grandparents left Eastern Europe. It means get out while the getting is good. Oh, really? They were leaving the Nazis. Read a goddamn book. I'm a Jew. Is it is it is it the 1923 skidoo? Is that is it? Like, That's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I thought. But it was more like a routine thing. It was like it's like two three skidoo. Like yeah. like, like 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 okay. One, if the, the crowd's not that hot, do 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 do. Like is it 20, 23 seconds into your act if you haven't gotten a laugh like just like fucking sk- get get the fuck out like, of there like, uh, do your twenty three or and then skidoo I always thought it was I always did think it was nineteen twenty three skidoo because I'm very yeah. I'm simple minded but I'm not be- exactly I wouldn't call myself bright look <laughs> at that face <laughs> hey who wants to play a parlor game no. I'm not going to win your fucking parlor game. <laughs> I'll be at best middle of the pack or just the... That's exactly what we want. No, I'll doze off. We don't off. want you to win. We don't want, to, we don't want you to win. What, what are you, Sean Hayes? Don't they have... Isn't he the guy who has the, he has the, the game night? Right. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's probably a wonderful show. This is the new me. Look, you, you know, I don't like what you're doing, but keep doing it. Yeah. I started watching that Game Night movie because I, every I heard multiple times, oh, it's it's pretty good. Like 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 that kind of surprised lilt. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, and I was like, all right, I'll, I'll watch a pretty good uh, thing. Like, cause it sounds like there's some reason why it shouldn't be good, which <laughs> intrigues me. Otherwise, I don't watch like comedies and stuff. But I I shut it off. I apologize. I'm sorry. You're in the audience. You wrote the movie. You directed it. Whatever. Uh, Thanks a lot, dude. I just I oh it, my where's my car. It seemed to have like a Miller Lite commercial tone to it. Like it just felt like people were kind of over the over the tippy. I like my comedy grounded. Uh, <laughs> me too. I like... Hey, I just I realized after how long I've been out here that I could put the drink over here. And they say they say I don't have they, they say I'm not I don't have an Einstein vibe. <laughs> hey, Einstein came up with the Theory of relativity, but he was unable to come up with a unified th- field theory. Nice going, Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next song in my workout is uh, Beck's Dreams. Beck's Dreams. Steve. Well, it's not right. going to work. Well, we tried that. Is this Steve Levy, part and of the sketch? Steve Levy. Is this part of the sketch? Chris, we good? Yeah. yeah, you gotta play music now and see if it works. Using airplay, you may notice a delay. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh, it sounds like it is real. These are like Kanye castaways. <laughs> <laughs> so you recognize this? This is Beck's dreams. Dreams. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This one is, doesn't Could sound very much like dreams. I well, think. I think it, it just kind of, the speakers uh, like don't really, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the, could I, could I just try it without the, uh, the airplay? I don't want to get anybody fired, but. Turn that part. Turn that part back Let's on. Get everyone <laughs> fired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, we didn't hear those drums at all, huh? Yeah. Oh my god. It's a, a tiny little drummer in a oh, box. Oh, maybe it was like mono. Yeah. See that? Now you recognize it. It's Beck. Yeah. It's yeah, Dreams by Beck. Well, this is clearly just the song. <laughs> Come on, I love your dreams. Dreaming all the night for yes. me. Yes. I am back and you will see. Come on, baby, living my dreams. Well, I've got a special. 
special bed for you. But you don't need one, because you're in a dream. It's really a bed for me. So I can be with you in my dreams. It's a special bed. Boom, boom. Yes. Peter, no, no. Very inspirational. Special <laughs> bed <laughs> doing, doing, to doing, help doing, me doing. dream. <laughs> Theremin sound. Theremin sound. <laughs> Theremin sound. Well, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's more original music than you usually get in an episode. I don't know. You do a lot of the rippity raps, you pretty much. And plus, you know, Zach, Zach drops out, you know, Zach yeah. provides us with beats. You know, rap, you it's, know the... uh, it's from the streets, and that's cool. <laughs> it's, uh... But sometimes I need to get up there and stretch my wings and be a yeah. real musician. Have you tried yeah. I've been working on the railroad type things where you, you don't have to pay for the rights, and then you just, I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. You can spice it up. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the dumb way. Kimmer mashup. Can't you hear the whistle blowing? Gonna Dinah, blow your horn. Dinah, get, get a room. I've Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, rail. won't you blow? Dinah, Dinah won't you blow? blow your and uh, because every song back in those days, ba ba ba, Kimber mashup, mashup, every mash song. Up. Yeah, I like. <laughs> Thank you. I like that. Uh, and then I wrote, "High quality crowd on the fence." Like that. Still hot. <laughs> this old man, he played one. He played knick knack on my drum. Everybody. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Andy, what do you what do you think? How, how, what do you think is the first like, aside from the stuff that's already happened? What do you think is going to be the the what's the big sign you're waiting for, dreading that really for real, the worst parts of you are right about everything. The, the this is it. The country is sliding into a fascist uh, nightmare. What's the what's the real fucking like Rubicon that you're I would to say. Cross? If he says tomorrow will be Kristallnacht, <laughs> he'll see, he, just, he just out and says it. That's how stupid he is. Yeah. Right. And then yes. he'll say later, it's the name of a, 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 a dress. No collusion with Kristallnacht. <laughs> I did not tell people to break the windows. There's no proof of that. The fake news needs to jump all over my use of the word Kristallnacht <laughs> be, to try to take away from their disastrous ratings watching each other. What, what a bunch of losers. <laughs> I will get the Jews to pay for the camps. That's from, my, that's from my act. That's from my act. That's from my act. I apologize. That's prepared material. You, you people are better. I'm better than that. I'm better than that prepared material. I th I'm worried now, and I actually think, but I, I, li I like dream about M Mueller every night. I just love Mueller. And it's like... Uh, I just think Mueller's going to save the day. I, I have predicted for a long time, and I've been wrong so often that what, people don't even return my calls anymore. <laughs> I think by the end of summer, he's going to be out of office because he will resign. Is it, my nightmare is that the Mueller will, uh, uh, the panel will release its findings. There will obviously be a criminal finding of some kind right? Uh, it, it, by old definitions, by Nixonian definitions, there will be massive malfeasance, t uh, tantamount possibly even to uh, uh, international criminology. Um, certainly money laundering, dirty money, terrible uh, things. But uh, that my fear is that that's just going to kick off the... We're, we're t the nation's now been divided down the middle, and, and on one side, you kind of... It used to be like there were a freak fringe where the people that were like, Sandy Hook, well, okay, don't try to get me in a corner. It's probably fake. And, and it's like the, they shook yeah. the hands with the devil at that point. Like, but we always thought that was like 5% of the country. Well, no. And it, now it's like, oh, what if you slice this loaf of bread right down the middle? And it was like half and half. And like, it seems like half of the country is like going to go, Mueller's going to go, so as you can see from these photos of him stealing money out of a safe with Abe Lincoln's head on it yeah. and handing it to a man, a Russian man dressed like Snidely Whiplash, 
um, and exchanging like hand jobs with him, and then c coming onto an 11 year old uh, uh, couch to, to Rod Stewart. <laughs> Uh, and, 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 and everyone's just going to go f uh, f fake news and... and, and There's a chance that's going to happen, but what I think is going to happen is I believe every single thing that they have said about him is true. Like, absolutely, he had whatever that thing with the P tapes are. Right. It happened. But what because his bodyguard has already said, oh, they invited, they said we're going to send women up there. But what part of that have we gotten the impression would actually flip anybody? No, because if you see, I'm saying, if they're on the same day, here's the P-tape. Here's that he got all his money from the Russians. Right. Here's the when he uh, paid for 12 abortions. Right. Here's what, I mean, it's like, I think the stuff we know about him is the good stuff. You know right. what I'm saying? That was supposed to be like a joke, like he's so terrible. And like, you, think, uh, you, you, so you, you, you think it is possible that there will just be such a mountain of, like, that, that it's, a, it's still a matter of scale. That we haven't yeah. crossed this tipping point. I feel like I'm through the looking glass where it's not, it doesn't, nothing matters. You might be right. And I'm like I say, look at my track record. Horrible. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think he was going to win. Um, uh, but anyways, yeah, I was just curious. Uh, but you know what? So far with Trump, I've been pleasantly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> what is yours, Dan? Do you have one? Do, do I have a, a moment? A, like a moment that I'm dreading? Yeah. Yeah, I'm dreading like any anything that has anything to do with me being accountable. Like like I like anything where it's like where I have to be that guy in the beginning of Inglorious Bastards who's like has to choose between looking down at the floorboards and not. Like like fa like like I have to like serve tea to a dude in a fucking ice uh, vest who is like there for someone that's like, you know, <laughs> done great work on my uh, 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 mm -hmm. Palm trees or uh, something uh, who is who I have is, like who came to me in tears and was like I don't I, we don't speak a lot but I'm fucking like I'm terrified and and I and I was like well just get, fuck of course like go, hang out like I'll build a fake wall I'll put some Rick and Morty art on it and are you saying uh, you would have put up the you would have put up the Franks. Well, I would, I, 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 I I, I, I'm prank. assuming that I got into a situation at this point where I, 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 I had to choose between saying right. yes or no to human life and would probably just, whether or not I'm a good person, that I would just be, <laughs> that I tend to get into situations where I'd be like, yeah, I don't want to be a piece of shit. And then like, and then, yeah, I'm worried about being tested. I'm worried about, I'm worried about like seeing shit out my window or the doorbell ringing and ha like a like the rubber meeting any kind of road, it, uh, my, the road being my the place where my spine should be. Well, I think you have to have a you absolutely have to have a uh, one of the bookcase that swi swivels. <laughs> you have to have that. Right. And I'm trying to write this joke all day today. I uh, I God, I thought she said get a s safe room. But you got a safe, said safe word. Now I'm out twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it puts it. You have to imagine me yeah. as a worm. You <laughs> know, being into panties. Yeah, yeah. I'll admit that I like the panties. Sure. Whoa. Sure. Hey, Spencer. <laughs> do you have? Uh... Hey, who do who doesn't? This lady knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, they're used woman panties. What's not to like? <laughs> Spencer, do you have a, 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 a moment of panic? What? Oh, uh, yeah. The Mueller verdict's going to come back, and then like they're going to be like, if you support the president, don't enforce the law. And then they won't, and that'll be the Reichstag moment. And then that'll be the moment at which, you know, effectively civil war has begun or, you know, suppression, official sanctioned oppression will start. And then, yeah, I don't know that that's going to happen, but I feel like that's going to be the real turning point because... They're not going to say, oh, no, nothing happened. I'm so terrified of that happening, but there's a part of my brain that wants the Mueller to find nothing. Uh, that's yeah. how much of a coward I've become. Like, no, I, 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 just, I just don't, because I don't even want to fucking dance anymore. You I'm ready. Know, like, I, I I'll tell you what die. you got to do, folks. I don't want to depress you people. <laughs> Is maybe, we'll, maybe we'll make it out of this. Where the, <laughs> oh, no. An, an insane <laughs> madman who, who, as I've said, uh, Trump is like if Hitler couldn't find Poland on a map. Right. 
I have with me, and I have enough for Dan. Is that cyanide? Cyanide. Yes. <laughs> Andy, you some gotta them, get. Some of them are mints. <laughs> Andy, get off the deep web. I keep telling you, Andy Kindler will not stay Could off the deep web. Could have been a mint. Could have been a mint. <laughs> you, you can't. This guy is a deep web addict. Yeah. That's Jew Russian roulette, right? One of these, one of these lozenges. <laughs> Contains cyanide. <laughs> oh, that's just um, um, oh, that's, that's just mental latum. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the overly Jewish thing because I can tell. No, I love it. Makes you a little nervous there. No. Nah. I'm I'm Polish mostly. Genetic, oh. So same samezies really right. So we're, you we're are both covered in eraser sized like tags <laughs> that fall off over time. Hey, I just want to say whoever said this was going to be good led me down the wrong way. Uh, I, yeah. I, it's all, I'm already, it's already, hey, there seems to be no free lunch with sugar. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you people say. Oh, I have a sprig of uh, avocado in my water. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I have a soda dispenser. <laughs> you're fooling yourself. Yeah, it doesn't, or you're not. Like, or, yeah. they're, Get some they're agave. lying. They're lying to. But, other right. people, and they're not fooling themselves. No, my fr some friends of mine say they have that soda machine, and they love it. And they, and it well, I, I, I've started drinking these LaCroix, uh, and I got in the habit of it, like, and now that's what's in my fridge. It's what's better than water, but it's not diet. My fridge isn't full of Diet Coke anymore, and it's, it, right. it, it, I, for I formed a new habit. Diet Coke is definitely, I'm glad you dropped that one. It's kind of, it kind of <laughs> like, it's like you retrain your brain to consider other dumb, dumber shit a treat. Like, it, 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 yeah. does, it does kind of work. Like, it it's does. Like, it takes like two weeks or a month, but it's like, it's weird. Like, you, you feel just, better? I uh, mean, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I feel better when I th realize that I haven't had a Diet Coke in a long time. Yeah. But I, yeah, I guess every time I go to, gra I'm like, well, I'm just basically drinking like whatever this is, fucking mermaid water. What is that? What is that shit? <laughs> is it just? It's just seltzer, right? This it sounds is, uh, French. Pamapus. No, it's not. It's lemon. But then said, you'll they say you start with the lemon. Later, you want the pumpamoos. <laughs> <laughs> this never happened, this conversation. I'm making up a person. We're just going to find that out way. that that's bad for you anyway. You might as well wait until we find out that's bad for you. Oh, you wait. There's a Prop 65 warning. <laughs> you'd, have to, you'd, have to be, you'd have to be 60 years old, I guess, to laugh at that joke. <laughs> Which would be like, what is this, Prop 13? Something like that. <laughs> that age. Marijuana? Is that, that's marijuana, right? Prop 13? Uh, no, Prop 13 was the... Uh, Thing that reduced property taxes because old people had to pay a lot of money for this. Would you pay this money for a thing? I know I'm, look, I peaked about a half hour ago. Let's not kid ourselves. Let's not kid ourselves. I'm just trying to g keep up. No. <laughs> yeah, thank it's you. hard to know when the show is failing because you wonder, like, if you listen to any previous 300 episodes, you're like, wh why are they coming? <laughs> how, how do you know when you're doing a bad one? I just never, I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm almost done. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I have a, I finally have a podcast because people said, Andy, please, 30, it's 30 years in, <laughs> try something. Do you have, I said, do I have to do anything to make this move forward? Anything. Yes, anything. So, uh. I've tr I, I, I've done sixty of them, just me and my friend. You have a you have a podcast. It's called it, yeah. It's called Thought Spiral. I'm not plugging Th it. Please plug it. Where is, is it? it? What network is it on? Oh, network? No, no. We're not so fast, pal. If it's, but uh, you have to be on a network. No. Yeah. If Where it's a bunch of cassette it? tapes, somebody's ripping you off. <laughs> yeah. We we want to be. The best known, no one's getting the, we want no, nobody cutting into our nothing. Do you use uh, <laughs> Patreon? That's the big We thing. haven't thought of that yet. I keep saying, as a running joke, this is how good my podcast is. As a running joke, I say paywall every week. <laughs> huh? Is that funny or what? That's <laughs> and it's just two Jews, but it's the hardest thing I've ever done. Why? Oh, yeah? Because there's, yeah. no, is it there's no laughter? Is it you're doing it in studio? Well, sometimes it's the greatest thing. Sometimes it's, but, uh, you know, I'm sure you relate. Every week you feel differently, right? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, well, this room feels very different. I, I find myself missing the intimacy, the dryness of the sound at Nerd Melt. Like, I miss that to, place every day. It's yeah. like as, and when, you, w w when you listen back to the audio and when you're doing it live, like this is like unmistakably there's a membrane between me and these people. I can't look, em, look at them and I can't. I don't, there's something psychologically, there's like a wall of jello. 
Uh, this is harder to feel the connection. I mean, I, I'm in serious love with many of these people. You're in, you, uh, yes. you, you owe serious money to them? Is there anybody? No, I said I'm ser in serious love. Oh, is oh. there anybody here who has a father? All right, now look. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, because there is that divide. First, not only divide, there's like a, an area rug. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a whole area. Persian rug. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what anything I, about rugs. I, I, I do feel like maybe a burlesque performer should come out and like, like do a little uh, seven veil dance and then... Um. <laughs> yeah, so I know what you mean, but I, 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 it is intimate, though. It is intimate. For, well, they're seated intimately, but I feel like we're talking into <laughs> megaphones. And I, 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 That's what these people own. If I have to talk into a megaphone to get you people to get off your asses about climate warm, warming. <laughs> is it warming? Like, aren't Warm theaters, back. like, why, why was it so possible at Meltdown to do, to not have a, like, like, like if we're in a theater, aren't theaters built to have no mics? Like, like shouldn't I be able to do, like, a little, a little play up here? I mean, yeah, uh, it was projection. lower ceiling, a little hotter, it was a little mm. more raw, so yeah. it felt more intimate, right? The problem with theaters, I found, no stage, just really? from my experience, is people expect the show. Mm. And then they come see me, and I'm whinging, I'm whining, I'm sweating, I'm complaining, I'm asking how much time is left. And that's not what happens. That's not what happens when you go see Phil in the name of a current uh, play that would be funny here. Uh, uh, tap dogs. Right. You want, you want tits and feathers when you get footlights. I mean, right. like, you want to smell the grease paint. You want to you fucking, like... I, I'm not saying I can do that. That's from Chorus Line. Uh, wrong reference. <laughs> well, give what, me a... Give how me about a, Rent? What, oh, Rent, yeah. 7,500 minutes in the second. <laughs> 3,000 <laughs> minutes in the second. Uh, uh. you, you turn anything into Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> you could do... <laughs> you could do Jesus Christ Superstar and it would become Matchmaker, <laughs> Matchmaker, <laughs> make me a match. Now that's try not Jewish. To try not to turn on to. Try not to do <laughs> problems that upset that's you. Uh -oh. You put diba 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 di. <laughs> Jesus, you started to believe the things they say of you. You really do believe this talk of God is true. It's hard to it's hard to watch that show for the first it's time the and only... not spend the next six oh. weeks like 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 singing every Did song. Did you love it? I love that uh, yeah. show. Yeah, everybody experiences was... the same thing when they see that show or Jews hear the album it. for the first time. It's amazing. Written by Jews, right? Like Andrew I, Rice I don't and think, uh, uh, Andrew Dice. Andrew Dice Rice. Andrew Dice Clay. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Dice Clay. He can't be Jewish. There's no one with Lloyd in their name. That's Andrew Jewish. Lloyd Webber. That's yeah. a, that's what it is. And uh, and the other guy, Rice. Jake Lloyd. Uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs. Uh, yeah, love that musical. Amazing. Incredible. Really Try not it. to turn on to problems that upset. Oh, we're going to get copyrighted. But do well, your yeah, version. Yeah. You can sing one line, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I see like a clock. Do you see a clock all the way back there? Yeah, there's one. It's just hard to read. Oh, I gotta God. squint at it. Okay, so then the next one would be. I think it, what comes <laughs> next is. Uh, I'm so old. Only the no, young. It's, by it's hard to see. I promise. Okay. I feel like I'm doing a, a, a death of a salesman. <laughs> Biff, where are you? Only the young can say. Holy shit. <laughs> they're free to fly away. From the movie with Matthew Modine. Only the young can say. <laughs> can't leave the key of A. Okay. You don't do beats? I thought you Man. had beats on there. You didn't make any beats? Well, I can't change them on the fly. I, just, I, I prepared these little garage there's band songs. There's percussion. It's you know? like there's Each a drummer. Each of them drummer. has two tracks. Well, how much do you want me to get done? I get home from work at, <laughs> at 6 o'clock. I got to come here. To, I thought maybe you would, you know, I thought maybe on my weekends you were at least coming up with beats. I'm to not like... going to do nothing on no weekend. <laughs> step aside, step aside, Casio sound from the 70s. <laughs> Harmon's back. Yeah. With Dr. Rhythm-like effects. No one knows that reference either. 
Do you know who Dr. Rhythm you remember, is? Remember, Mr. remember the Mr. Microphone commercial? Tell me you remember something from my generation. I was trying. Well, Did you watch F Troop? F Troop. <laughs> <F-troop. laughs> oh, no. Which, I mean, it's. I. Did but, you remember Mikhail Zavi? <laughs> Please. Or is it something that you've just heard about? <laughs> it's the latter. I mean, I've heard about him. But we both know Knight Rider. That's past my time. How about that? Well, it's your maybe what? Uh, I'm so uh, old. Imagine if I was a 60-year-old woman, as someone pointed out. I don't even understand. Is that, like, is that a backwards compliment, or is it a prank? <laughs> it was an answer to your question... In what situation could bragging about burying your children possibly work? <laughs> and I was like, imagine you're a 60-year-old woman, and I was like trying to find a little bubble oh. there where it's like you're still you're you're, you're uh, after your your maybe a widow, like you lost your first husband to like a snowblower accident, and <laughs> like and then there's this like 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 fella, this Sam Elliott fella down at the other end. He's got this he's got his little hat, and then like the bartender says that's from that fella, and he's like, hey, just want you to know. Better be careful with me. I outlive two of my children. <laughs> Want to dance? And, and, and then you'd be like, come on, take me away to the honky-tonk dream. <laughs> I don't know why it has to happen in rural America. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it just doesn't seem like something that would happen in Brooklyn. Like, like, like <laughs> hey, I outlived my kids. Like, that would be sad. That would be sad. Fucking kids are dead. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, kids are dying at a higher rate than when we were kids. Congratulations. Uh, let's go joke about it in the parking lot. These kids today, they, and they don't know how I, when I started comedy, oh, shit. what I had to do. I had to walk 20 miles to get to the setup of a joke. <laughs> and then another 20 miles to the punchline. These kids today, and they don't know. With the long hair and the rock and roll? <laughs> their house is in the village, though. They will not see me stopping here to watch their woods fill up with snow. David Frost, folks. David Frost. <laughs> David Frost. <clears throat> it's, it's Robert Frost, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew I was a one-off. Is this the, uh, so many miles to go before you did th- the yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's stopping by. Ah, Mr. Poetry. Oh. That's right. There were two Mr. Robert Poetry. Frost poems they made us memorize in high school. It was that one was he the wall guy too? Something there is that that, that doesn't love a wall that sends oh, the f- that frozen groundswell under it. Uh, I think that's I think that's Frost. It might be uh, what's his pants? Sandberg. What grade? Uh, what what grade? Yeah. Eleven. Jesus Christ. What? How come? I smoke a lot of pot. I <laughs> I, got, oh yeah, I cannot I, I, remember I, 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 anything. I, 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 I did not even go to the eleventh grade. No, really? Uh, did, you, yeah, really? did you drop out? I dropped out. Did you get your GED later? I did get my GED because I did not memorize poetry. But we had to do it in like sixth grade. So I was wondering what kind of public school system you that's had. That's pretty legit, man. I didn't know that about you. You're kind of you're, that's kind of gangsta, right? <laughs> yeah. Sure is. You're a you're that's a high, you're a high yeah. school dropout. You know, you wear these suits, but you're 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 legit. Watch out for eleventh. Watch out for eleventh grade, dude. All you have to do is leave. <laughs> you don't have to do anything you just except have for to stop. Stay in bed. Right. The shittiest part is I'd come by for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, I, I'm still I, I, hungry. <laughs> my brother didn't finish. He didn't go. But I don't. I, you know, I don't, do I don't roll with him. <laughs> oh, come on, you roll. Fucking Harmon boys. Everybody knows about y'all. <laughs> what? Uh, what did he grow up to be? I'm, I have a doctorate in. Uh, <laughs> you're uh, even, your brother. Your I brother that did not uh, finish. What did he grow up to be? The the the, uh, uh, the butt of my jokes and my Damn. podcast, and uh, <laughs> someone that refuses to talk to me. <laughs> uh, father of a niece I'll never meet. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. So he's graduating from something. I mean, father <laughs> of a niece. Father of a niece I'll never meet. Yeah. You got the electric streets rolling down here on your disco feet. Father of a niece I'll never, never meet. Guitar, <laughs> drums, <laughs> Robert Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> Guitar, drums, Robert Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> the worst Robert Winslow. He would, he would, he would, he would, he would self harm if he saw that. He'd be like, "Is that Mi- Michael what, what Winslow? What do you think you're doing, Michael, Wait, Michael Winslow? Well, who's, uh, 
His brother Robert. David. <laughs> Robert, he Robert Winston. Robert Robert Robert, do your sounds. I don't know. He's the, he's the most talented guy in accounting, Robert Winslow. <laughs> Robert, come on, do that thing. I know you don't like being associated with your famous brother, Michael Winslow, but come on. Your famous you, we're, all, we're all 60 years old now. Just do, do, do your helicopter thing by the copy machine. Chaka, 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 Robert, you are an amazing yeah. phoneticist. You are, a, you are an amazing oral artist. A U R A L. Everyone's in the family. He, you guys ever watched uh, He was the original MIDI. I don't know what I'm saying. Is that a thing, MIDI? You guys ever watch those ASMR videos on YouTube? Yeah, yeah I'm, uh, I'm opening up a oh, rapper. It's me, Tinky Tina. on some pine cones later. <laughs> I wanted you to know that I got a new microphone. It's the ASR 1000. You can hear here, and you can hear over yeah. here. Yeah. A lot of you keep writing in and asking to hear sucking and kissing sounds. <laughs> this isn't about that. Wait, don't. Oh, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't you just, I just type in ASMR kissing. I'm like, come on, let me, ch like, 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 kiss my ear. Oh. 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 What do you mean, oh? oh. I don't want to seem old, but what am I, what, what, what Oh, it's what like these it? you, the YouTube it's videos like that, porn, like, like, but esoteric. But it's like. But it also is sort that of wrong? like that's right, yeah, right? Yeah, but no it also offense. like there's a little bit of a blur there where it's like I think that thinking about it as porn is part. It's like like part of the shtick is that it's not it's not really. It's like about relaxing and going like to sleep. A, like when well, people cuddle. Like oh, when people, okay. Like but when you can like, hire like, somebody to come over and cuddle is not really sexual. It's I'm just about be cuddling. Doing some trigger words. Escalante. Frigidaire. <laughs> like they, they just like they do like weird words and like you, you they have special microphones that uh, and you can have special earphones that like trigger like Cody says she like she she uh, there's 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 some people say it's a thing you have like 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 you have a sensitivity. Yeah, you watch the video and then you have the thing. Well, or but you can also like have it like a kind of a condition, like a yeah. No, that's the thing. You don't you don't get like normal people don't respond, but the people who are sensitive to it, they have they call them brain gasms. So it's like they call them brain what gasms gasms. Oh yeah, there's different terms, but yeah. No, that so was my like first pickup line. <laughs> uh, would you like to have a brain gasm? <laughs> Did he say brain gasm? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just was a weak joke then. I'm trying to think of why I don't get, after everything I say, people aren't like passing out from laughter in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I've, yeah, I've given My up. My condition's getting worse. Uh, I'm worried about, I'm worried about uh, being too happy. Uh, I don't know if that's a topic. Yeah, <laughs> that's it a is. topic. I was driving home today and I was like, I'm pretty happy. That's good. Uh, what uh, what has changed for you that's making you happy? Well, Rick and Morty started up, and now we got to like, like, and I work for, I go in at ten, and then I'm like, we're a and it's just like everybody's you like, we're come on, let's well, let's do this, and I'm like, well, what if we did you three times as much, and everyone's like, yeah, let's do it, and it's like just really a lot of fun talking about it, and then like five o'clock comes, and it's like, well, let's, we did twice as much as we wanted to do. I'm gonna go home, and then it's like light out, and I'm gonna drive it home, and like my car's driving itself because I, I got a Tesla, and it's like. Uh, oh! Time out. Yeah, thank no, you. Not a high five. Oh no, come on. That, this come is on, this is jealousy. I, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, this is, isn't like yeah. It's like whoa. <laughs> I just let it drive home today. Like uh, it was like driving, and then I was like. Oh. Did you take your hands off the steering wheel? Yeah. You I would never that? leave the house. You gotta, uh, how how the fuck is it owning that car? It just drives, but so, it doesn't. It doesn't like. It doesn't like. Turn. Okay. Let, uh, I mean, uh, uh, but it, it, it's cruise control. It's like but cruise control, but that control. it actually works. Yeah. yeah. Like Holy it's what it, it what it, it's not like a you can't it won't like take you home. 
Okay. Like, like, it won't, you like, can't follow the no, GPS. No, it keeps you in a lane, right? Yeah, yeah. And you it's can awesome. Al- you can also tell it you want to change lanes, and it'll change lanes better than you can because it'll check the lanes. Unless there's a truck and it's dusk, and then it'll kill yeah. you. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I'm not going to, like, yeah. I'm a, like, I guess that guy was, like, it's funny how we coped with that. Like, I, like, like, I, I was like, didn't it kill a guy? And they were like, yeah, but he was, like, watching The Lion King, and, like, uh, he, Yeah, no, because they, they call it autopilot, which makes you think, oh, it's autopilot. And but it's not. Yeah, it's I don't know control. if this was the case when, when, when his tragedy happened, but now the thing... Is that the pedestrian the thing? thing? No, no. So. He, he just he, wasn't paying attention. There was a guy who was like, a, he was like the first uh, auto drive death because he was like... And they, I don't know if this is victim blaming about this part. If it's like the old lady with the coffee from McDonald's. I, 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 I don't... I, but they said there was, there was like Facebook video of the guy like asking for it, you know? Like, oh. like, like that the guy was like, hey, look at me, I'm not driving. Like, like... <laughs> Uh, uh, like, 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 makes me, makes uh, but, me very happy. But I think that we, as a society, we know that we tend to do that. Like, 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 we, we, if a lawn jart kills a baby, like, we fucking, we figure out how to like blame the baby. Sure. Like, we are a sick, sick, like, uh, people. Uh, so I, I, I'm sure there's, I'm sure no human being deserves. But anyways, uh, what whatever. made you, uh, what made you finally bite the bullet and get a car? Uh, I, I just I, well, I, I closed my Rick and Morty deal. And right. I'm like, fuck you. I'm like, 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 like what's the down payment? And like, give me the thing. And I, like, I don't know. I Holy told shit. You pick it out. You build it. Or did yeah, you just I, pick what's on the lot? I just no. I like I picked. I I I, I oh, Levy. Levy took care of it. Okay. Uh, like, <laughs> And then I was like, Levy, Levy would text me, and he'd go like, pick a color. And then I was like, Moonstone River Brock. Oh, and then, so like, like I just, I'm sorry. This, this car is super fast because it's there's no engine, so it's just gone. Yeah, right? yeah. the bottom of it is a big battery, and then the, and then the hood has like just a hole in it. Like, a, <laughs> you can put like luggage in the front because wow. the bottom's a battery. And then, uh, I kind of um, those guys are with the group. They know what they're doing over there. With the yeah. Tesla. You know what? Well, I mean, he's had a couple of those things where the spaceship goes up and yeah. comes right down. No, he's definitely. <laughs> He's like he's 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 lost steam. Like he was like like now that he's like he made the, these submarines. You hear about these submarines? You've been off Twitter, yeah. Dan. You hear about these submarines? No, but it's very cool. Uh, is hey, this how, many how kids they got this? Out? How many kids are out? Of I thing? don't know. They got eight out. Eight. They start tomorrow back up to get the other four out. There was these trapped cave kids, Five Dan. Out. They got trapped underwater, like in a air pocket, and they sent. They're sending teams to rescue them, and Elon Musk is like, "What if we had these?" Tiny submarines. But did he get them there? No, he, they were still building them. No, he's no. he's currently still testing, as far as I understand. He threw uh, them off schedule because they were waiting for the shipment of the tiny submarine, <laughs> and they and they missed a chance. No, to, they, he. I think he was just like as a thought exercise, just like here's what would work. But you know, he I don't. Did the he's same not, in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Say again? He oh did, yeah. Yeah. Did just, he actually do anything? Just said he would do some stuff. Well, I think he work. did. Yeah. I All think right. he did a little in Puerto Rico. Like I think. I don't know how much it worked. Yeah. He wanted to use those power walls, the Tesla power wall, right. in Puerto Rico, see how they ran, and it didn't really... Uh, didn't yeah, take it wasn't her. a huge change. Meanwhile, how long can you be in a cave filled with water? What's going on with these Not kids? that they, much longer. A, Not that much longer, yeah, because so, a monsoon is coming. Right. How do we, it's I, bad. It's, it's, I mean, I have a million questions, but I guess that's why it's a, a, a captivating story, because it's yeah. like a weird... Like, it is unbelievable. Like, the that Chilean that miners, whenever they were stuck This, there. they're pumping water out of this cave... Fashion that's coming in, they're bringing uh, oxygen. Oxygen. To the what cave. part of the world are, is it? This is in Thailand, Thailand. Oh. where I spent my early. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I have no idea where anything is. <laughs> I don't even know where. I but, know where most things in LA are. You're welcome. Uh, how are you? How are you with road rage? Because uh, that that's kind of. What do you mean? Like I don't see you being that good at it. <laughs> you yeah, mean I'm where not, he would get angry? You think? Yeah, I'm not good at road rage. No. No, yeah. but uh, do you get road rage? No. No. Really? Well, I, 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 I would. I assume everyone's mad at me when I leave the house. Like, I, I'm always like, don't beat me up. Like, 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 car wise. Like, don't. Okay. Like, I check my. I just like I my fear of like being the reason someone honks is like crippling. 
So because I'm, of the car you're driving? Is that what you were there? No, like, just uh, in general. That's why I was happy to not drive for, what, six years? How long were you Jesus. driving me around? It was, yeah, around there. Like, Mc, I, got, I got the divorce, and, like, McGathy had been using my Prius, and I just, so I was like, you know, she's like, I was like, yeah, take the Prius. You painted it lime green. Like, like she, it was a beautiful, beautiful uh, little little buggy that was more hers than mine. So, and then I was like, you take it. I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a fucking fancy car next. Like, and, and then I was like, I can't afford a fancy car. I just got divorced and waited like a long time and then uh, so I was like my next car is going to be fancier than, than the last one I had and then just waited and waited and waited what was my point? Why you got this one? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, and I was like, th but that whole time I was like, I don't really need to drive or one. want to because it's a little, like, I feel like I'm getting on the playground every time I get in a car. Because you're not used to driving. and cause you're I, just, I just worry, just have a high anxiety about yeah. disappointing people, like cutting people off and like, like, again, being the reason someone honks, it drives me crazy. Like if somebody, if I'm like, whoa, whoa, I almost hit you. And then they're like, <laughs> oh. And it, I guess I would, you know, when I was a kid, like a guy, I, I, I guess I cut a guy off and, uh, and he, uh, he, fl he, was, he did that and he like honked and then he flipped me the finger and it was like, I was like, I'm sorry. And then he was just like, fuck you. And then he got in front of me and then I just followed him for 40 minutes. So and like I said, yeah. so and like, like I he, said. He, he, you could sense him starting to get increasingly terrified as the sun went down. Because he's like, wait a minute, I live in Cedarburg. And I was like, so do I? <laughs> or, or can you never stop? Because I was like 20 years old and I was like, that guy, I was, that's what went through my head. Is it was, I was like, geez, that guy's so mean. I would never, if someone cut me off, I would, I would, I would like honk my horn, but I wouldn't like lay on it and yeah. then flip the guy off and mouth the words, fuck you. Because for all that guy knows, I could be a psycho. For all he knows, I could be a psycho. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, maybe I am a psycho. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what's the difference between a psycho and a normal person? Does a, if a normal person lays on their horn and mouths, fuck you, uh, in spite of clearly being unable to physically take you, like, like I, I'll just, <laughs> maybe a psycho is the guy that just patiently has nothing to do for the rest of his day. <laughs> And just wants to, and the, and the I remember the guy the guy came to a stop sign and there was a car between us. Uh, he had managed to get, like get a, one car between us on this like county highway, and the he came to a chase. stop sign. And my biggest victory is he fucking peeled out, ran the stop sign, and like almost got hit by another car as he like sped away. And I was like, Vroom! I was like, still, still, I'm still behind you. And, that, and, and, and he just like he just kept going off into the fucking country. He was headed for Canada, and I was so proud of myself. I just eventually like I waited for him to get over a hill, and then I was like slowed down, and then I was like like went away. And I was like I fucking did something right today. It sounds like yes, yes, like I, I, yes. You had an experience. Because that guy, that, now that guy, the next time he gets road rage, like, I, I accept that I did something wrong. I, I, cut a, I, I fucked up behind the wheel of a car. Like, I made a mistake that was discourteous to him. I didn't check. I didn't see him or something. I did something wrong. But, but you know, like, also, though, the reason I did it wrong is probably because I didn't have my full brain. It's like, like he, the time he spent, like, turning his head 90 degrees and yelling, yeah. fuck you, and all this stuff, it's like, you're, so you're not exactly worshipful of the safety of the roads yourself. Like, yeah. you, you, like when, when the mood takes you, you'll pay attention to all manner of things. Like, you're driving into oncoming traffic so that you can flip me off like you're the Dukes of Hazard. Um, so, I think, yeah, I did the right thing that day. Yeah, I, I changed a man, I think. Now, I taught a man to fish instead of giving him a fish, you know? Right. Like, I, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna handle his, his altercations on the highway differently. I probably saved a kid's life. I, you, you are a hero. We'll never yeah. know. When I think of heroes, I think of you. I have, have I mentioned I have OCD? Because the worst thing about OCD, and I didn't know this when I first got OCD, but if you look it up, it's one of the main symptoms is you think you may have hit somebody in your car. Whoa. And then you have to... Exactly. That's the same <laughs> as alcoholism. <laughs> same symptom. I have that. Yeah, well, that's Every right. morning. But then now, that's the other thing, is that now that you drive, <laughs> has that changed no, that part of your life? No, it auto-drives, I told you. <laughs>
we're fine. This guy's making submarines that can rescue kids from caves. <laughs> you don't think he's got my back? Uh, what will you remedy, since you're so happy, what's the remedy? <laughs> it usually he say that self-destruction, happened. like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Or will you, 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 I, well, no, you I, just, I just noticed that, I think the, re- well, I, 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 my goal is to, is to not self-destruct. Like, I, like my, that's why my therapist, like, I, she's like, just put it, just don't fuck, fuck, you know, like, don't, like, guys like you, she said, you know, huh, well, this will be interesting. Like, guys like you, 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 half of you, on average, like, you go and be happy, and then the other half of you, like, put on some slippers and drink yourself to death. She, and she was like, oh, we'll see what happens. Jesus. <laughs> and is, it, is this based on how much she's getting paid? I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> she, 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 I think she knows, like, what pushes my buttons. She, she knows that that's going to yeah. make me go, I'll show you. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's why she said slippers. She was kind of enticing you. Didn't she say slippers? I know. Well, that's yeah, what, that's what hit home. On. Is that because I would have, I would if she hadn't said that, then I would have thought, oh, I'm not going to be this. Who's this other guy? Yeah. yeah. Like, but the slippers drove it home. It was like, oh, so that guy thinks he's nailing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that guy like is like, oh, I'm wearing slippers. I fucking did it. I'm Joe Walsh in the Life of Illusion. You know, like I'm fucking, <laughs> uh, like you know. Is that the Eagles, Joe Walsh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, because because uh, all of a sudden I thought about that other horrible Joe. Yeah, Walsh. life's been good to me so far. Like Joe Walsh is a co- it's like, wait, what's that? What's that song? Like life's been good to me so far. My Maserati does one eighty five. I lost my license and now I don't drive. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I didn't come here tonight telling you I was knock you out with my voice. <laughs> all right. <laughs> my voice is raspy. <laughs> it's not a bit. <laughs> what do you My guys? Mess <laughs> That's Rod Stewart. <laughs> How many quarts of cum have you had to drink tonight? <laughs> you know, that's the thing. I, the only reason I know that I've tried semen is because I, I tried a uh, kumbaka. I was going to make a kumbaka joke. <laughs> <laughs> semen, I don't know. Have I had semen? I've had some of the kombucha. How do you pronounce it? It's the most horrible thing I've ever heard of. You take it, it's all, it's ruined. It's already fermented. They go, yeah. Yeah. It's garbage. That's good. You know it's terrible, right? It's garbage. You know, it's okay. If it's the only thing on the menu. That means that the food's gone bad. If it's the only thing on the menu. (laughs) I, I I I get it. These kids, they gotta, they don't, they 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 come into a world where we tell them there's two flavors of corn syrup, and then they, they they had to do something to rebel. They they couldn't just be like, we'll have water. Like they yeah. had to like figure out new things to do with fruit. It's all that's all we left them. Like, like there's only there's only so many ways to be hip when you come into the fucking Orwell's like THX 1138 fucking Coke and Pepsi chrome hallways with. Interspaced vending machines with two kinds of drink owned by one company. They're oh like, my God, oh, you're I, I think I'll be a foodie. Whoa, yeah. you're making me see through the game. You know, no. the vending machines are getting really good. Uh, Is that true? Uh, I, they have apps now. You don't have to deal with the gross money. Have you been to Horn and Hard Arts? No. I just want to prove I'm the oldest person in the room. <laughs> it's an automat. Oh, right. well, Famous automat in the fifties. What's an automat? Is that you like put a some ru- money in, and like a, you put money in, a sandwich comes out. It's a store of vending they, machines. Oh, so it's just a store the, full of vending. It's machines. a plastic. It's, it's like a plastic construction of a of a structure that has little holes, and you put money in, and like oh, there's a little soup for you. Hmm. And then, <laughs> and then the. Yeah. Yeah. How about a glass of tomatoes? Corn and hard arts. <laughs> Why don't you people? Meet more <laughs> old people <laughs> who can't let it go, the old references. <laughs> and you, get, you learn something. <laughs> so, wait, is there a guy on the other side? Yeah, there's like a cafeteria on the other side, and then they're like, oh, let's put in a new bowl in this window. But you're not supposed to be, you're not like waving at that no, guy. No, no, you don't see it. You're supposed to be living in the magic of, I can't the believe it. Machine. I put is this what they do? The, it, they do it at IKEA too, sort of, right? Do you oh, put, they do do you put your IKEA. money in a slot? They do it in other countries. It's like a big. Yes. Yeah. You, you walk right by a wall or a drawer. Yeah. A slot, I think. 
Yeah. It's and a vending machine. So vending. each little window is equipped with like that, a I don't electronic. Know. Maybe there's one on the side you put it in, like a regular vending machine. <laughs> My memory of it Sit is that down. you Sit would down. put Sit the money in down. individual Sit him down. cubicles. <laughs> Sit him down. Let him go. Let him go. But I don't know. Get the table I'm out of the way. Out of my ass. Get the table out of the way. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> I want to go to somebody, a, I eat at an automat. Somebody had orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. It's in the song. It's in a song from the hit show Hair. Right. Born in Hard Arts. Do you know that I went to see Hair? This is how old I am. Let's let it all hang out. I was 12 years old, 1968, and when I, I went to see Hair. And I was wearing a double-breasted jacket with a medallion on, and it was the original Broadway cast. And we got separated from the group and got mugged, my friend and I. <laughs> and when I say mugged, I don't mean beaten up. I mean held up with knives and guns. You're kidding me. Yeah. For Wait, the so uh, coming out of hair? We came out of hair, and me and Jeff Stein, we started walking. And, uh, and you're like, we don't even need our school. Let's be no, no, alone no, no. in New York. I've realized the therapy now. <laughs> it was really their responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> You've forgiven yourself. Yes. You were blaming yourself yeah, for your mugging at 12. I blame myself every, every, every time I think of it. I feel shame <laughs> until I realize, uh, no, no, Andy, you're 12 years old. If a, if a junior high class goes into Manhattan, someone should be watching out. For right. Them. This, Just to make uh, sure you don't turn into Batman. <laughs> I mean, I mean. Were like, you able to replace this medallion? Um, I could be mixing up two stories because my sixth grade, <laughs> my sixth grade, the only prom I ever went to was in sixth grade. We didn't. We when I graduated from high school, it was cool to not do anything fun. We were like, yeah, oh, those assholes went to the prom, huh? <laughs> Losers. But my sixth grade prom, I wore a turtleneck, I wore a double-breasted suit, I wore a gold medallion. Were you I, a? I spilled uh, grape juice all over my. <laughs> what was the medallion for? They're the stupidest things. Were you I a, mean, were you maybe, a pimp? It's like a pendant. Were, did you say were you a pimp? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 12 years old, uh, trying to get tickets to hair. You think I? I love your austere pimp. Like, like he's got one gold medallion just for pimping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised we state champion pimping. Hey, yeah. yeah I'm surprised we got bugged with that kind of attitude. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I put my energy into the actual pimping, thank you. I'm not ostentatious about it. I I wear one of these at a time. I have several. <laughs> I've taken regionals many years in a row. Look, the, the money don't care where the bitches come from. I got uh -huh. a gold medallion for pimping. I wish I had even a one saying uh, like that. This medallion, uh, I'm so sorry, I'm obsessed with it. No, uh, me too. It's fine to let's <laughs> it's focus on this. It's 1968. Think of uh, maybe one of your grandparents were hippies. It's 1968, and they had these things like medallions. Uh, it, was no. it pinned? Is it pinned? No, it's like a pendant. It's like a, like a, it's like a, a gold medallion. With a red, white, and blue uh, ribbon? No, no. Everything it's not was like gold. A, it's like Everything an Olympic. Was <laughs> was it yeah, also? It's like a, it was like a, oh, you had a silver medal in uh, in the fourth grade. I Olympics. had my silver medal. That was cool. Gold was out. Silver was in. Usually for losing. Uh, was it? Uh, was so big? Little? It was big. Was it real was gold? So cute. So was real gold. Adorable. What's that? Real gold? No. Okay. That would be terrible. <laughs> Andy, we gave you that. R actual real gold medallion <laughs> for your trip. <laughs> Our grand, your grandmother. Well, my parents don't talk like that. Your grandmother gave it to us <laughs> from the old country. Your 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 parents were Joan Collins from yes, <laughs> from Transylvania. <laughs> they brought over this. Very did, they, did these thieves take the medallion? No, but I'll tell you what happened though. They said, "Come here, give me." Your, uh, they said, uh, "Give me your give me your money, give me your money with like a, with this, this kind of emotion." Uh, and keep we, the medallion. Typical New York story. We ran into a we ran into a store to get away from them. A bodega. And and the guy said, I said, well, can we use your phone? No. <laughs> Seriously, get the hell out. We go back out. 
Then another guy comes up. He's got a gun. He's got a knife. He goes, Shut up. Oh. He, goes, he goes, I'll protect you from these guys. What? I'll protect no. you from these guys. I'll protect you from these guys. You're so joking. he's going like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> he's going like this. What? He's going like this. Was he like a this. dancer? And then we run into another thing. We run into another hotel. <laughs> another hotel? <laughs> You said another hotel. Oh, the hotel Dixie. The hotel Dixie. You are a twelve-year-old with a turtleneck, a medallion, and you head into a hotel. No, no, no. That's, that's not a hotel. You're he was a pimp. That's, that's right. pimping. He was a pimp. That, you that's pimping. Pimp. You were we had, mixing we up your hotel memories. Lobby. You were a pimp. It was forty-second and eighth. Forty-second and eighth. It was the, and it was near the hotel Dixie. I just these facts were in my mind. And the the moral of the story was that I was so scared to call my parents. I literally would have died if my friend Jeff didn't call his parents because I just didn't want to tell them that I got into this predicament and they never found out. What were you afraid your parents' reaction would be? Nice going, schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll outlive you. <laughs> See, yeah, exactly. How can you not uh, what kind of parent would do that? They, they would. They're like, oh, you know what? I'm going to come down there and stab you myself. <laughs> You're not meant to live going around getting almost stabbed. Because how could you have lost your way? How could you lose your way with the other way? It's your fault. There's a red carpet leading you to the exit. There's a lobby full of people. Yeah. Follow the people. Don't follow the no people. You get stabbed that way, you sh schmendrick. <laughs> Night's going. What's a schmendrick? Uh, it's like a schmuck, but it's more horizontal. Like a... <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> It's a schmendrick is a guy. All the Jewish it's ones. The schmucks and schmendricks are the latitude and latitude. <laughs> the longitude and latitude of. Uh, they used to say a schlemiel. Uh, <laughs> the schlemiel gets corporal. soup. Right? You know that one? The yeah. schlemiel. Someone knows this. The schlemiel. The well, schmazel does what? D d d they're, they're doing the. the he spills they're the doing soup. Laverne and Shirley. And yeah. No, I think so. One of the guys gets the, the soup spilled on them, and the other guy spills the soup. <laughs> and we'll be back with the worst panel stories of all time. <laughs> we are Andy Kindler. Uh, next question. Yes, Mr. Kindler, I am a proud serviceman in our United States uh, Naval Academy. And yes. I, I want to know, what is the difference between a schlemiel and a schlemazel? Schlemiel and a schlemazel. Also, uh, is your show planning on including any characters that are proud to serve in your country's military? Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. The, uh, schmuck is ne you, a penis is a schmuck, but so is putz. It's a lot of words for penis. Kushamuck. Yeah, deal with it, people. Yeah, it's blue material. They can't deal with it, right? All right. Is Sorry. A is a schmendrick like a, it's like a, like a, well, whatever. I already, I think I already kind of asked, a, asked and answered. He's not as bad as a, sh who knows, someone here it's has like a, It's a almost like a, like, it sounds like a, like there's a little bit of a mensch in a, in a schmendrick. Like he's a well-intended, oh. he's not a, sh he's a schmuck, but he's, he means well. So he's a schmendrick. That's, that could be right. That's, I'm just going like by But there's phonetics. a schnorer, a schnorer. A schnorer? A schnorer. He's like, uh, just a. That's the guy who lights the middle candle on Hanukkah. No, he's the guy who. He's a guy who uh, uh, always leaves his pot at home and he wants your pot. <laughs> these examples they gave you to learn these words? <laughs> or so, uh, oh, well, he's the guy that makes a, a golem to attack your sister's wedding. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> I'll, I'll remember that. Good mnemonic device from the fucking Sumeria. <laughs> Sumeria. Hey, it wasn't easy growing up Ashkenazic, my friends. <laughs> Hey, you know, you know what a schlamuzel is. He's a guy. You got ten pots of clay. You're trying to make a roof. <laughs> the guy brings a stick. You know what I'm saying? He's a schmamulo. Schmamulo. <laughs> got it. Got it. Okay. He's a real Gilgamesh. You know what I'm saying? He's uh, the oldest recorded kind of person. <laughs> what a punum. What a punum on you. What a shame. What a punum. What a punum. 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 That would be his face. We did. We so, did. Twenty threes could do our whole we'll way through a whole show. Yeah. We don't have to do shit at this point. <laughs> we, uh, oh, we we nailed it, right? We don't have oh, one more workout it. song to go out on. Oh, we perhaps? do. Always close with the or song. We don't have any MC gun control. We don't have <laughs> any. When I was in uh, the Yiddish theater, I and we didn't have. A, they say, "What's wrong?" I'd say, "You're speaking Yiddish, you idiots." And that's why they died. MC gun control, gun, yeah! gun control. Sorry, sorry. MC gun control. 
I, I get confused about my name. I feel like my name should be MC Gun Awareness. Save, save it for the verse. Yeah. Let's get a beat. It's me, MC Gun Control. Yo, yo, yo. MC Gun Control. Click, click, clack, clack. Bang, bang. What's up with that? Guns all around. Are you aware of them? They're dangerous, motherfucker. Yeah, guns. Bang, 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 bang. MC gun control. Guns are my thing. Awareness of guns and control. I gotta roll guns. The AK-47 is the most devastating weapon in the known universe. Gun control! <laughs> the joke is, once again, you, you don't know what side I'm on. You're reaching for acceptance! I, at this point, the joke has become, I explain the joke. Uh, yes. And do the joke. So, I... <laughs> There's nothing better than deconstruction with a backbeat. Yeah, I, but, you know, uh, you're not alone in liking MC Gun Control. I like them, too. Yeah. I want them back as well, but I never know... I don't want to hear about the name change. We like oh, where it stands. Yeah, well, I'm a, I was thinking about, can you cut the beat so I can just ch talk one-on-one -on -one with my friend here? <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking about changing my name to gun MC Gun Awareness. Well, <laughs> doesn't, it doesn't really flow. I know well. it's like hindsight's twenty twenty comedically, but I feel like the bit if you if I, if it wasn't improvised, I would have written the bit as uh, MC Gun Awareness. It's so very it, hard. So it's more like the it's pat of gun control. The explanation like, doesn't seem sincere right. with the effect. Yeah, I know humor should come from an organic place. And <laughs> I shouldn't question it, but I have a part of me, maybe it's the part of me that loves guns. Yes! I have a part of me that wants to perfect my bits, you know? Like, I, if I'm a part of a bit, I want it to be comedically, like, pristine, geometric. Golden ratio. Oh, I get it. I see where the irony pivot is. That's, oh, you can't tell. MC gun awareness. I get it. What does he want? He wants us to be aware of guns. Why? <laughs> I, but I, you know, I'm not supposed to, you know, Kiss isn't supposed to get the joke, as they say. They, they say, what did they say about Kiss? <laughs> That was a, actually an old an anecdote Robin I started using because uh, this guy Stuart Kornfeld that works for Ben Stiller. Yeah. He, he worked for oh Kron yeah. He worked for Cronenberg before that, and he he had this anecdote that when you're back in the '90s when we were still discovering things like 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 being John Malkovich was being written and 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 we were doing our Ron Silver bit in Heat Vision and Jack like Meta was Meta was still being constructed, <laughs> um, and. Uh, and there was so there were often a lot of conversations with, with, with like producers about like, uh, well, what is it? Are you saying it's bad on purpose? Or are we gonna like? Yeah. Uh, about, and there were a lot of these conversations. And then like you're talking about tone a lot with 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 like meta comedy. And then Stuart Kornfeld would say, "Kiss doesn't get the joke." <laughs> and that and it was he had an anecdote about Gene Simmons like looking at a reunion poster that someone had drawn up for a Kiss like reunion show in the 90s and it was like kind of like I whatever the graphic designer had like gone like full bore with it and I guess it like like maybe made it like too kissy. funny I don't know oh, like 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 bro. yeah and I like well, it doesn't really matter what they did but the like Gene Simmons response was no man kiss doesn't get the joke <laughs> and and like I was like and I was like ah now we have a shorthand for no, you're, you're no, joke. no. Jack Black shouldn't be like winking at the camera when he he, he 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 should be he should be he should believe that he's he should be acting his heart out in this yeah. like silly thing like like he should try another hard. but uh, another story that adds to the legend of 
the genius of Gene Simmons, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like you don't want you don't. Did you ever hear that Terry Gross interview with him? Oh, I it's want the to. Most I want. Uncomfortable I mean, fucking like, shit. If, like, if you want to be, uh, t- t- take your take your poison. Put 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 two of these bullets in a in a revolver. Like either the Gary Shandling uh, Ricky Gervais uh, interview that we oh, we talked a little bit about. That is the greatest thing. Uh, or the uh, Gene Simmons uh, Terry Gross. Uh, uh, fucking incredible. Like like I, that guy. Wow. I, that's all I can think. Of that now. guy needs a gun. Yes! Like I need a hole in the head. Wait. America needs a gun like it needs a hole in the head. The only thing that stops a hole in the head <laughs> is a good person with a hole in the head. <laughs> the only person that the stops only, a bad the person. The only way to fill up the hole in the head of a good person is with this equally sized chunk from the head of a bad person <laughs> bad, yeah. whose head was had a blown a hole blown in it by a good person. Hopefully the same good person so that the shit doesn't chain react outward. We don't get what's called a good bad China syndrome of weapon uh, 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 efficacy. Efficacy. Ef- you say efficacy? Efficacy. Yeah. I love that word. Efficacy. 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 Look, be aware of guns. They, they're devastating weapons. Um, they can kill so many people. <laughs> MC gun awareness. No! Ah. MC gun control, but yeah. how how could yeah. how could MC gun control ever be why would he name himself <laughs> that if he loved guns? Maybe he spells control with the K. Oh, with a K and like a trigger. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, did you drop out of 11th grade? I like you. <laughs> Yo, MC Gun Control back, is rising up. This is the end of my gun control. MC Gun Control, you've got to rock and roll with guns or their control it's not quite auto-tune we couldn't afford that but it's a different voice and it sounds neat MC gun control get up Ground, ground control to MC. Gun control. Oh, gun control. <laughs> Very pleased with myself there. Guns are dangerous. You could wipe out a lot of people with them. Tonight's the night. Control. Everything's going to be all right. Gun control. How many people like semen are in the house? MC Gun Control. It's me, your father, John Control. (laughs) Come home and mow the lawn. I don't want to. You're grounded. No. I hate regulation. Unilaterally? Don't pin me down. Just get home and mow the lawn. I'm not gonna ask you twice. I'm gonna fuck you up with my fist real nice. (laughs) (laughs) Dad, Dad, you wasted the beat dropping so bad. You, that was the least worthy performance of, of, of a breakdown ever. It's late Fuck September, you. and I really should be back at school. 
Rod Stewart line. You you heard you, you heard that guy. <laughs> All right, I love my dad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Very abrupt. Very abrupt. Thing. I love you too, son. It made me cry when that boating accident claimed the life of your brother. I know. Uh, I tried to kill myself. Don't do it. MC Gun Control has no self control. I got to start to go. Just start a blog. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's. We'll just end our show there. Oh. Let's just end our show. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end <laughs> what? of Harmon Town, I think. Let's thank Andy Kindler for coming out. Yay! Yes, it is. It Great is the job, end. Andy. Funny and no, I, thanks, Andy. What a talent. Let's all wish Jeff Davis a... Uh, uh, we wish you a speedy recovery, Jeff Davis. We miss you so much. I wore your favorite colors. Spencer Crittenden. Uh, Thanks for game mastering. Brandon uh, Johnson, Zach of course. Zach McKeever in the booth. Chris Boroff in the booth. Our newest friend Brian in the booth. <laughs> Thanks so much for listening. Good night. Get any of that? It's a good show.